What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Mr. Butchies, coming at you live today with a different kind of video. So, on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, I had asked y'all to give me some questions that I could go ahead and answer. And pretty much, I got absolutely none. Ain't nobody, well, virtually, nobody gave me any questions. Like, technically, one person gave me a fucking question to do this. So, um... Pretty much, I'ma just go ahead and go online and just find some questions to do for this video since ain't nobody on Snapchat or Instagram <laughs> gave me any questions. And to all the people who watch, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description. Go ahead and do that. So, because ain't nobody decided to give me any questions, I will not be going online trying to find some damn questions. So, yeah, let's get it. All right, bet, find one. There we go. Use that. First one off the top. Ten questions to ask to get this. Ten questions. There's a truck. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I can. God damn it. Ten questions to ask to get to know someone. Question number one. What is the best and worst phases of your life? Ooh. Uh, the best phase of my life, I want to say, was around 2009 when I got on stage for the first time to perform Michael Jackson at my elementary school talent show. First time on stage by myself. It was wild, it was crazy, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and I will never forget that moment. 2009, the worst phase. 2013 and 2016, those were the two worst years of my life. I'm not even going to get into it. Those years was horrible, bro. Like... Like, you can have a bad day, but to have a bad year, I guess I remember terrible. Just know it was terrible. I will never forget those two years for the rest of my life. So, on to the next question. Question number two. What is your favorite book or movie of all time? Well, I do not read. So, Technically, it just be what is my favorite movie of all time, pretty much. You know, shout out to all my dumb niggas, you know, who don't read. Wait, can I even say nigga on YouTube? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I can say nigga on YouTube. I already said it. So shout out to all my dumb niggas who can't read. You know what I mean? Gang, gang, we out here. No read squad. But nah, for real, for real, I really love movies. And I actually do have a favorite book. I do have a favorite book. My favorite book is called Hatchet. The Hatchet by somebody i forgot to do look i read it back in like in like ninth grade okay <laughs> i don't read often i don't read often when i do read it's naturally like from like other people's stuff me trying to help somebody's book or something but i naturally just i just like movies i'm a movie kind of guy don't you can't you can't blame me you feel me <sighs> what do you want from me my favorite kind of movie oh man that one is actually kind of tough because i'm always going to the movies i love movies like Every time something new drop, I'm pretty much at the movie theater. That's kind of like my second home. So, I don't know. Like, that's hard. What's my favorite movie of all time? Like, I, te okay. I technically don't really have a favorite movie of all time. So, I'm just going to give you a movie, like, off the top from a genre that I like. And that's, that's, that's where we're going to go from. So, action movie. Favorite action movie on the top of my head, John Wick. The John Wick, John Wick franchise. I'm not even going to say John Wick 1, 2, or 3. I love them all. I love watching John Wick, so out of those three, action, John Wick, that's number one. Um, favorite comedy, on top of my head, Hangover. All three of them, love all three of them, they're all funny, so Hangover. Uh, favorite horror, ooh, um, <laughs> my favorite horror movie. Uh, <laughs> that's actually, again, tough. Off the top of my head, nope, off the top of my head, that's what we're gonna do. Off the top of my head, favorite horror movie of all time, Jason... Jason. I want to say Nightmare on Elm Street, but I said Jason. I'm going to stick with it. Jason. Uh, yeah, I love Jason X. The joint was hard. Jason. That's where I'm going. So, you know, Jason. Y'all don't understand. I really like movies. Like, oh my goodness. I'm always at the movie theater. Like, I was supposed to go see Black Widow. But you know, we got Arona going around. Now they done pushed it back to November. I've been stuck in the house. But it's cool, though, because, you know, Netflix and Hulu and all that good stuff. But... I was trying to see me some Scarlett Johansson. You know, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Look, the movie's gonna be hard, don't get me wrong. I'm going for the movie, but 
call the Joe Hearsay. Next question. Question number three. What are you most thankful for? Oh, man. I would have to say I'm probably most thankful for my uncle. Because... My bad, my brain stopped. <laughs> yes, my uncle. My uncle has been my best friend, bro. My uncle, me and my uncle. Look, if you know me, you know I ride with my uncle hard. Look, day one. Day one. That's that's all I can say about that. Day one. Without him, bro, look, I shoot that. I would have been lonely a lot of times. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of times. And every time I, you know, every time I come to Louisiana, bro, my uncle is like. My uncle was like that guy. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you got that guy that just knows like everybody. He's just cool with everybody because he just got that energy where it's like, you know, this is a cool dude. We're like, just, just a dude you want to be around. Like, bro, look, look, if you know me, you know I ride with my uncle. You know what I'm saying? We go hard. Day one, bro. Day one. Don't look. It just is what it is. That's what I'm thankful for. So, you know. Thank you, uh, you know what I mean, you know, for being there. Day one, next question, let's get it. Number four, what is something that people misunderstand about you? Uh, I feel like that, personally, I feel like people misunderstand that, uh, uh, I think, damn, that was kind of tough. I think people don't really get the fact that I could be serious, right? If you know me, you know I'm always joking, I'm always, you know, I'm always trying to make people happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to make jokes. I'm always trying to make people smile. I'm always trying to be the life of the party. You know what I mean? You know, I just, I just like everybody to have a good time. I like everybody, you know, to be fun, to be, you know, good vibes all around. You know what I'm saying? I just like everybody to be cool, chilling, you know, just hanging around. You know, I try to bring the best out of people. So it's like when, when shit gets serious, right? It's like people look at me and it's like, yeah, nah, nah, you, 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 you ain't it, bro. You ain't it, bro. Like if somebody wants to fight like a lot of people look at me and be like yeah nah he ain't no fighter because i'm always joking like nobody really ever sees me seriously upset so it's like yeah he ain't no fighter he a punk we just gonna beat up on him and don't get twisted i used to be used to back when i was like in middle school but you know what i'm saying things, look middle school now things change you know what i mean so with that being said i, look, I got a serious side okay everybody who think i can't be serious i can't be serious I just choose not to because there's not a lot of reasons to, but when it comes down to it, I can be serious. Damn. Next question. Number five. What is your biggest regret? Um, okay. So pretty much, quite honestly, I try to live with no regrets, right? Like, and let me get, let me try to explain it uh, as best as I can. So pretty much when I make a decision, I just try to go through my decision 100% of the way. Even if I made a dumb decision, because you know, it happens. People make dumb decisions. I still go through with that decision that I made all the way through. And yeah, you know, sometimes like it's not really a good decision. It's not the best decision. I could have made better decisions, but I really just take it as a learning experience and just move forward. I never be like, dang, bro, I wish I never did this. Or dang, I wish I never met this person. I never tell anybody I wish I never met them. Because even for the people that did me wrong, right? You you can learn from people, or at least I like to learn from people. So, you know, to all the bullies and stuff, I never be like, well, dang, you know, I'll regret me muted. No, because you know what they taught me, they taught me how to be strong. They taught me how to how to build myself. You know, I used to be big. And people used to tell me I used to be big. I do not regret being as heavy as I used to be because I could never, I would never gotten to working out and you know practicing on fighting and stuff like that so it was like without being bullied and all this that and the third and everything that happened to me i would have never i i could never be who i am today i couldn't be i might not be so cheerful and i i might not be so happy so i always take everything as like a learning experience even even the bad stuff so when i make a decision on something or if i do something i'm always like 100 through all the way to the end even if it's gonna end terrible. I pick myself up, I learn from it, and I keep it pushing. So far, no regrets. I try not to live with them. So, hey, look, next question. Number six, if you could change something in the world, what would it be? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I would make everything, uh, I would make all prices drop. Like, I would make everything lower. I would make everything cheaper because look, when you start there, 
Everything else would just kind of fall into place. And I know you really can't do that. I don't know nothing about politics. I don't know how money works. But look, I, what I do know, you drop stuff, a lot more people can benefit from you like dropping water prices, dropping yada 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 yada. Listen, I'm tired of being broke, okay? I'm gonna just, uh, I'm tired of it. <laughs> and, you know what you can do with a hundred dollars? If everything is like a dollar or a dollar fifty, you you get a lot with a hundred dollars. So, oh, that's just that's just my idea. That's just what I got. You could drop, you know, drop the price of bills, make the bills cheaper, you know, car insurance cheaper, phone bill cheaper. You know, if you could just make stuff cheaper. So much easier. Like I said, it can't work like that, but that's that that's that's how me that's how I'm answering the question. Don't hate me, don't let me look. I don't know. Next question. Number seven. What's on your bucket list? Ooh, on my bucket list. Personally, I would love to perform at Madison Square Garden. It has always been my dream just to have a big old crowd on a stage and everybody is just just jamming and partying we are all turning up and i'm just like at the pinnacle like i just i just want to be able to get on stage and perform in front of millions of people and just go go ham you know what i mean ever since i seen michael jackson perform at the monarch and it was like he had miles of fans and everybody is singing from the front to the back of the of the damn it wasn't even a stadium. He was just outside like a damn football field, bro. It's just people saying from the back to the front. It's just, it was crazy. Yo, if y'all could, look, Michael Jackson the Monarchs, bro. Type that up, joint, because that's that's what got me into music, low key. Type that joint up, I'm telling you. That, that, that was, that's been my fuel. I want something like that. I want to be at that magnitude. And you know what? Might not be able to get it, but just to, man, look. Bro, like Travis Scott, you know what I mean? Travis Scott, bro, if you see his concerts, his joints are wild, bro. Like, look, that's that's it. Performing in front of millions of people, that's bucket list. So that is, that's on the bucket list, probably either number one, number two on the bucket list, where I'm sitting at. I could, it could change in the future, but right now, that's where it is. So next question, number eight. What is, what was number eight? Hold on, bro. Number eight, what is the most thing you would like to learn? Or what would you like to learn the most? Or something, something like that, something of that nature. Basically, pretty much, what's one thing you pretty much want to learn or know? I would like to know uh, flipping all type of fighting techniques on some Batman type joint, you feel me? Like, you know, I just want to be able to look. I don't care what the situation could be, but I could easily go ahead and change up my fighting style to whatever, you know, you're suited for, you know what I mean? I want me on some Keegan, Baki, uh, goddamn Dragon Ball type Naruto shit, you know, I want to be on everybody's neck, you know what I mean? If you want it, come get the smoke. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I like to learn, uh, you know, all fighting techniques on the planet if you know possible or learn all languages on the planet as possible because i just like to be able to talk to pretty much anybody or everybody on the planet you know what i mean i would love just to go ahead you know speak a little english and turn around to the side and go ahead speak a little mandarin and go ahead turn around to the side speak a little nigerian a different language you know just put it in my bag and if i ever go anywhere travel anywhere because i do like traveling go ahead and be able to you know talk to everybody so yeah that that either the fighting or or the languages because you know next question i'm sorry about all the noise outside my uncle uh is doing stuff i don't know if y'all can hear it so i'm going to continue just in case you can't if so, I do apologize. <laughs> Y'all might not be able to hear it though, so just uh, number nine. Let's keep it going. Number nine, what is your top fears? So pretty much I'm not giving my main fear out to anybody or only certain amount of people know my number one fear so i, I would not be getting that uh, i'll be damned if i would tell everybody that online so hail to the no but i could give you my runner up very close runner up and that is not being strong enough to protect the people i care about that 
I don't know. It makes me worried. It makes me worried. I would hate to go out with somebody and something where something something happens and I pretty much just can't do anything about it. You know, that would suck. I would uh, I would feel terrible. Uh, I would hate it, especially if something is happening and it's like I'm not strong enough to do anything. Like I don't know. For instance, you get this fat guy off your body if you wanna. If you want to save your best friend, fuck, I can't do that if, you know, I'm weak and I just, I would never want to be put in that position. So with that being said, you know, boys out here working out, boys out here training this body, boys out here, you know, Muay Thai, kickboxing and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So look, look, I ain't trying to really worry about it too much, but it is something, you know, to be, you know, up here, up here. You know what I mean? So with that being said, next question. Ignore the thumping. Last but not least, number 10. What are you most passionate about? I am most passionate about music. I love me some music. Bro, I get up, I'm listening to music. I, I'm in the bathtub listening to music. I'm cleaning music, cooking music, working out music. I, even, even, even if, right, hypothetically, even if I don't have music playing, somewhere back here, somewhere right here, in my dubla obligata, right? Music is still playing. Right, right now, what's going on? Disturbed. You know what I'm saying? If y'all, all my rock fans out there, I'm listening to some Disturbed up here. You know what I mean? So look, <laughs> down with the sickness. You know what I mean? Look, look, that's that's a whole other thing. Now that I'm actually making my own music and stuff like that, bro, I feel, I feel really good, really good. Especially where I am right now, making music, bro. Even if it's not like number one Billboard charts, bro. It's still the fact that I get to make music is what makes me happy, bro. And that's, you know, to have people like what you make and everybody enjoy it. it doesn't matter about color. It doesn't matter about race. I, I listen to all kinds of music. You feel me? I listen, shit, I listen to Japanese, rock, rap, dubstep, techno. I listen to all kinds of music. Music is not a race. Music is not a gender. You know what I'm saying? Music is for anybody. It's for everybody. It's just emotion. And I just want to be able to make music where everybody can enjoy it. You know, you, 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 you get me? I, I don't know. I don't know if you get me or not. But if, if you do, if you if you with me, you, you with me. Cause look, bro, music is music is something strong, bro. Shoo, music is something strong. <laughs> like, so yeah. Yeah. For everybody, right? For everybody who watch ah eh. for everybody who watches my videos. For all the people that got the post notification little bell symbol, Shamalam Mumu on, bro. To all y'all who keep coming back, I highly appreciate that joint. You know what I mean? Because look, y'all don't have to come and watch my video. You know what I mean? Y'all don't have to come and like the stuff. You don't even have to pay attention. Nobody has to do anything. But the fact that y'all take time out of y'all day to come see what I'm doing to come on my channel and, you know, pretty much have a good time. Even, even. Everybody's in the comments, you know what I mean? We, shoot, I pretty much be trying to answer everybody. Cause you know, we just, we having a good time. And I'm inconsistent as hell. I am never, I don't have a schedule. I don't have a date. I pretty much just kind of post whenever. Cause really, I try not to go crazy with these. So, you know, I just kind of. So to the people who got the post notifications on and the people that even if you don't and you just come and click on it out of random, thank you. I appreciate you, you know what I mean? Cause look again, you ain't had to, but you did. And now we here. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my YouTube tips a little bit. Go ahead, press that like button. Now, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, right? Cause as you can see, I got clothes on today. Naturally I don't, you know? I mean, I don't be out here butt naked, but, and I got my shorts on or whatever, but you know, I, I went. Tidy up a little bit. Tidy up for this one. You know what I mean? So with that being said, go ahead. Sorry, let me, let me try it again. Go ahead. Like this video. You feel me? Go in the comments and ask more questions. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. Do all that good stuff. You feel me? If you haven't done it already, go ahead and do that. You feel me? I already said like, so you you, you should have done that already. But I'm gonna say it again, just in case you didn't hear me. Like the video. 
go ahead, turn on that notification to know when I'm posting because again, I post random. You know what I mean? I ain't got no schedule. You feel me? When I do, I do. And if y'all there, y'all there. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Number below around here. You feel me? So go ahead, notification. Leave a comment if you want to. I will read and I will get back to you because that's what I do and that's what I like to do. Uh-huh. And go ahead and check out the other content that I got. Yes, I'm repeating myself. I just want y'all to make sure that y'all understand that I understand that we both understand that we doing this damn thing. You know what I mean? We are doing this damn thing. And just because, just because, I'm going to go ahead and post up my music channel. Just for anybody who's curious about hearing my music. So, got all that out of the way. Feel pretty good about myself. My hair is not done, but I took my hat off. Cause I can do that. Catch y'all peoples later. Peace.